the land of fire and ice, a place of breathtaking beauty and unspoiled nature, Iceland. On this trip, as a best course participant, I am exploring the breathtaking landscapes, the adventurous activities and the unique cultural exchange that make this place so special to me. Enjoy! My journey began in Paris with a brief stop at the airport where I met Clara, another best course participant. Okay, so we are, I just landed in the... <laughs> so I want to share a very kind story about uh, a guy who sat next to me. It was an old man and he gave me one of his books that he just read. He was so nice, friendly and thankful. Not thankful, I was thankful actually. <laughs> but he was so nice that he gave me the book for free and was like, you can read it. And I was like, wow, are you really, really mean it? And yeah, I'm so happy that this trip started with a gift. So what about you, Clara? How many hours have you been here? Already. <laughs> I'm traveling for around nine hours now from Belgium. I had to walk a lot. So I'm very tired, I'm going to sleep. We also have the music here now. It's yeah. extremely, like, I love this place already. Yeah, yes. We can stay here. As we stepped off the plane, we were greeted by the crisp, fresh air of Iceland. We were filled with excitement and anticipation as we began our adventure in this incredible country. Our first day started by exploring Reykjavik on foot. We started off by hitting the streets of the city, discovering the colorful buildings and the vibrant culture. Reykjavik is full of charming shops and friendly locals. I love it. Next stop, the iconic church. Amazing. Of course, we wanted to have our first Islamic experience from the first day, so we went to a geothermal beach. A real experience! That was a real Icelandic experience. Exactly, switching from uh, 40 degrees to 14, 26 yeah. degrees difference. Exactly. Made the whole body, com the whole body completely. Let's go. Exactly. Yeah. And now it's raining, so it's time for a shower again. Yeah. After 40 minutes walk. Yeah. The second day, the official day of the course, started with a few morning classes about geology and volcanoes at the University of Iceland. Uh, BEST is a student organization based in Europe, uh, which mostly focuses on volunteering and developing soft skills. Yeah, exactly. And uh, what are we doing here? Why uh, are we, are we here? We are on a BEST summer course in Reykjavik in Iceland. After that, we visited a company named Carbfix, a company that turns carbon dioxide into stone. In Iceland, most of the power is produced by hydro power. So geothermal is a smaller part of what we do, but combined geothermal and hydro is almost 100% of the electricity in the country. So when we buy electric cars, we don't need to worry about where the energy is coming from, whether it's sustainable or not. Because, you know, in many places, as you know, the, the power that you're plugging into comes from fossil fuels. Day 3, we went back to uni for some additional volcano-related classes. It sounds like points, but there's 
there's no point. <laughs> Not so to drop. Every time you have to check it before ordering something. But to tell you again and again what kind of interesting products do we have in this lovely vending machine? <laughs> we have some familiar products from Europe, for example, KitKat, Lion, Mentis. But we also have some interesting products up here called Bingo. Yeah, say it with me. Bingo. <laughs> Favorite store, right? Yeah, I can sleep here. Finally, butter place for some bonny time. Hiking day. Yep, everyone extremely excited to visit an active volcano. The view, breathtaking. Unique moment. It was my first time ever being so close to an active volcano. Back to the city, discovering graffiti and street art. Day 5, the most awesome road trip of my life. We rented cars and went to explore the world famous Golden Circle. First stop, the historic Thingvellir National Park. We discovered the new language, I mean, you try it. <laughs> And we enjoyed our first waterfall, Oxal. Gulfos, one of Iceland's most iconic and beloved waterfalls. The crisp and fresh air filled our lungs and the sound of fresh water filled our ears. Just amazing. We continued on to the geothermal area of Geysir, where we saw the incredible sight of hot springs and geysers erupting into the air. The spectacular Selle Landfoss waterfall in South Iceland is one of the biggest waterfalls in Iceland. To be honest, that's my favorite one. So, how was your shower? Great! Oh, it's perfect! It's awesome! awesome. Last stop, the best one, Blue Lagoon. A place located in a stunning volcanic landscape where we relax in the warm, crystal clear waters and let the natural minerals rejuvenate our skin. Blue Lagoon! I'm sure tomorrow everyone's going to the Blue Lagoon because it's all awesome. Rich ladies, how it feels to be here? Wow, it feels amazing. Like, I feel the best thing ever. So, no regrets. <laughs> The day started walking through the city and later we visit the National Museum of Iceland. Where we learned about the country's rich history and culture.
shortstop for food and drinks at the university restaurant. The best part of the day was the incredibly international culture night, where we tried food and drinks from more than 15 countries in total. And of course, the Italian guy. He taught me how to eat feta properly. Day 7, we put on our helmets and headed for a geological exercise near the beach. Great job! Finally, the examination. Thank God we all passed. On the eighth day, we decided to go and buy some unique Icelandic souvenirs. We wanted for sure to remember this place. Of course, some basketball moments with the boys before we went out for drinks. Hi. Pretend like you're smart. <laughs> what are you doing here? Just chilling. <laughs> but what time is it? Oh, 1.30 perhaps, right? Maybe 2. Maybe 2, yeah. We wanted more adventure on day 9, so we went on a road trip again. After the scenery of this wide abandoned DC plane, we were heading to the famous black sand beach of Iceland. Arriving at the beach, we were awestruck by the jet black sand that stretched out before us. The waves crash against the shore, the wind whips through our hair. The scenery is simply stunning. So Marco, what are you going to buy from here? Uh, we're Iceland, so you know we tried traditional Icelandic food like tzatziki. <laughs> The Smartifoss waterfall was our final destination and it was well worth the effort. We came to a halt and enjoyed the untouched nature, but not only. And then our last day in Iceland arrived. My only thought was that I couldn't help but feel emotional as I reflected on all the special moments I had shared with my friends. We visited spectacular places, faced new challenges and made memories that will last a lifetime. But now that I'm thinking back on our trip, I'm sad. I know I will never be able to recreate those moments. And the time I spent with my friends is now just a precious memory. As I sit down to edit my vlog, I'm filled with nostalgia. I laughed at the inside jokes, I smile at the beautiful sights. Serious, uh, not serious, and uh, uh, and I tear up at the moments of true friendship.
in the end, I know that the memories I have with my friends are priceless. I'm grateful for the experiences we shared. I'm happier. And I know that I will always cherish the memories of our journey together.